Hey friends, in this video, I would be talking about how to study in your first professional MBBS. Every year plans an important role during MBBS. The first year is particularly is very crucial as it serves as the foundation for the next few years. As a professional first student, it introduces them to new technical terms, tests their fundamentals and enables them to brush up on their previous knowledge. The introduction of new subjects and concepts could make you tiresome or even intimidate some. But be rest assured that you are not alone since your seniors have also sailed the same boat you are in the right now. In this video, I will be talking about and taking you through a preparation strategy to give you a clear picture of the MBBS first year and help you plan the exam preparation strategy. Subjects in first professional MBBS. Let's take a look at the subjects that you will have to study in the first year. Although the reference books and some concepts could differ according to different colleges, the subjects for all will remain same or less than the same. The following are the subjects for first year MBBS course. Anatomy, Physiology and Biochemistry. Anatomy, Physiology and Biochemistry. Exam preparation strategy for MBBS first professional students. You must be wondering as to how much time you need to devote to each subject. Here I will be discuss a few points that will enable you to prepare an exam strategy to help you clear your first professional with flying colors. Time devoting strategy. As a first year MBBS student, you must spend at least 6 hours a day to ace the tests. There are 3 subjects but the amount of time to be dedicated per subject depends on your proficiency. Let's say if you are good at physiology, spend 1 hour on that and focus on anatomy for 2 hours. The attention span of a human being could be less but this doesn't mean that you can't take too long to study even every day and slog. Smart tips. Keep your preparation time crisp. Even though 6 hours is required, divide them smartly so that you can focus during your study hours. Devise different study methods for each subject. Divide your study into a variety of methods. For instance, focus on diagrams for anatomy. You can draw and make all the parts. This way you have already covered a major part of the theory portion. Similarly, for biochemistry, solve equations and conduct experiments in the lab. Devising different study methods for each subject will help you understand the variations and differences to keep you focused. Smart tip. Identify your attention span during on your method of study. You will make time allocation easier and you can allocate the same for an everyday schedule. Quality over quantity. How much can I study at a given time for MBBS is a question that lingers in the mind of students. As far as MBBS is concerned, the quantity, quality of study matters more than the quantity. What matters is the quality. Becoming a doctor requires knowledge, so mugging up just to clear the exams would only lead you to the downfall. Getting a good grip of the basics will help you move on to the other concepts quickly. Becoming a doctor requires knowledge, so mugging up just to clear the exams would only lead you to the downfall as I have told you earlier. Getting a good grip of the basics will help you move on to the other concepts quickly. Smart tips. Relate every subject to a practical solution. Practical situation. Relate it to the practical situation. Let's say for anatomy, try marking the parts of a human body on your own external body. For internal parts, try dis dissecting a cadaver with you, your faculty aid or watch online videos of surgeries on internal organs for a better understanding. Comes to MBBS, know that success is not just defined by marks you get since you will be evaluated on various other factors such as presentation and writing skills apart from the knowledge you possess. So your aim should be thoroughly understand and enjoy the subjects and success will follow. Give in your all by putting in all your focus passion and energy towards your subjects. A successful MBBS professional foster student has a deep understanding of the concepts in the syllabus sufficiently enough to treat patients after acquiring the degree. 
There may be shortcuts to success, but there's no shortcuts to skill by Anonymous. Kick start and ask, upskill your MBBS first professional with any of uh, the online platforms like Prep Ladder or Marrow or the name DBMCI and one more platform is there. This course has been curated exclusively for MBBS students like you to ace your exams. Its high yield content has been created by experienced faculties and will help you in the concept building for clinical subjects along with an easy understanding of important topics. And these platforms include everything you need video lectures, QBank, and test series. So, have any platform like Marrow or Plip Ladder or any one which you require. Dams, Dams, yeah, Dams was that. Dams, Marrow, Prep Ladder, Eguru, Cool, any of them. According to your this, you can choose and watch the video lectures, solve the Q banks and the test series, and it will help you during your professional exams. Also, as I scored 559 during my first professionals, and um, yeah, it's good. So I can say that go through the tips which I have talked about in this video. So that's all about this video. Uh, I hope you like this video so do subscribe to my channel for such contents in the upcoming future. All the best.